PS5 bingo. All right, PS5 bingo. Hideo Kojima, he won't be there. Coronavirus, that'll be said, yeah. First party remaster, that'll happen. Crossplay will happen. Nolan North in any shape or form? Oh, absolutely. From Software, I hope. Sports, yes. Anything about Dreams? Maybe. Mark Cerny will be there. Destiny, I don't think, will be there. Backwards compatibility, that'll be there. <laughs> so easy to develop, yes. Grand Theft Auto 6, no way. Quantic Dream, no way. Final Fantasy, absolutely no mention, that'll happen. Sales figures, mm, maybe. VR, definitely. New peripheral, no. PlayStation Now, probably. Live stream starts late, nah. Feel like you're in the game? Oh, I hope not. I look back at the history of PlayStation, maybe. PlayStation Home type thing? Maybe. PS4 price drop? Maybe. I don't think they would do that here, but maybe. Maybe. I don't think there'll be a new peripheral. I mean, does the, the controller doesn't count as a new peripheral, right? Suboptimal video <laughs> re footage recorded for people at home. That'll that's, happen. That's definitely going to happen. That'll be there. happen, yes, for sure. Do you have the most important thing ready, though? The broom? The broom. I actually don't have the broom on this overlay. Why does he do me like this? Uh, Burnt toast, we don't know what you're talking about, okay? Yeah. All right, everybody, also, shut up! You spelled my name wrong. Shadows, this program contains mature content. Cube chat. Oh, look, it's making a big triangle. It's trippy. Oh, Lord. Is that, is that going to be a circle? I knew it. Oh, there's the circle chat. It's very alien looking. Yeah, it is. Were they late? I mean, they were. I think they were on time. They're in the grace period of Twitch delay, in my opinion. You get it? Because those are the buttons on the controller chat. You get it? Uh-oh, where are we going? Oh, here's the history of PlayStation. You ever wonder, like, different choices, how we might have ended up? There's uh, Nolan North. I like to hang with the dog. Sports. We already crossed, like, three things off I the know, bingo. right? for something great. Quick little sizzle reel. That's good. Do it Why did I move here? Wait. I guess it was the weather. No way. Or the... Nah, I don't know. That thing. That magic. Wait, what? I thought we were trying to get out of this bullshit. Wait, what? Sounding more and more like a snee eye itch every day. My job, my score, get your own. We should talk about work. We out here gang banging like it's 91. It's just an ad for GTA. Well, my thanks. It's got to be more than that, El Papa. It's got to be. This is a very long, like, ad for something that's been out for years. This was a PS3 game. 
Champagne, anyone? Just sort of smash things. I mean, they are showing some online stuff. But still, it's spit out. So now what? So they're re-releasing PlayStation. They're going to re-release GTA 5 again? <laughs> oh, Lord. Chat, you're never going to get GTA 6, dude. Oh, wow, look at that. GTA 5, the new Skyrim. That's true. One million in GTA cash every month until GTA 5 launches? What? Look, you ain't gonna get GTA 6 till like 2025, Tattoo. Just deal with it, dude. I like that so far there hasn't been a lot of talking. There has been a lot of this. They like their symbols, babe. Get on with it. Where's the broom for the symbols? It was great to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. Jim. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. Old Jim PlayStation. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years. When we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. It's effing raw! The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Thank God. Yeah, PlayStation's good at that. They know we don't care about Jim PlayStation. All game footage you are about to see from this point forward in the show has been captured from PS5. Oh! Ah! Let's go! Bloodborne 2! Does not look like Bloodborne 2. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Really Booter man! Me that your mic is in my way. He was right. Now it's your turn. What? You'll be a hero, Miles. Scooter Man with Miles. Okay, let's do this. Heck That's yeah, pretty cool. Dude. I like that. Looks great! I'm all in! Is this an Insomniac one? Yeah, Insomniac! Let's do it! Let's go! Ooh, holiday! That's and next year! What? That's exciting! えっと、今日は皆さんに僕らが作っている新しいグランツーリスモの情報をシェアできるということですごく興奮しています。we don't care about cars! This guy, by the way, is rendered in PS5. They're going to try to bamboozle us when he's clearly digital. I'm so sick of car games, dude. We get it. Cars look good. They've looked good since the PS2. We get it. We get it. Car games look good. Oh, it's got air conditioner. All right, I'm all in. Vroom, vroom. I didn't know it left. Did it leave? Oh, 
clouds. Bump map roads. Living open world. Mazda. Welcome to GT Town. I'm Sarah, your tour guide. And first, let's go home. This is your home. It's where your garage is for storing your favorite cars. This is a Nashton Martin DB11 Magnetic Silver. It's got 538 PPs. I mean, it does look, it does look beautiful. I would rather play Forza though, where you don't race, you just get to drive around, you know? Yeah, but some people like the racing. I know, those sore heads. Not everyone has to like exactly what you like. Yes, they do. Also, this game's rigged because America's in second place. Oh, I should have made popcorn. I should always know. Oh, man, this will probably happen for popcorn. the next five minutes if you want to go make popcorn. Okay, I'm gonna go really quick. If something cool happens, let me know. Something cool's happening. Something is happening. I know. Odd world. You can leave. You won't care about this. be the thing Chris cares the most about. Oh, it's Ratchet! Yeah. A new Ratchet right Clank! No way. Who'd they give this to? It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right, the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I mean, they made Spider-Man, El Papa! They have found us, Ratchet. <laughs> How do I steer this thing? Look at this! Gameplay, dude! Oh my god, it looks great! The dimensions are weakening considerably. It is certainly not good. Great! Where are we? Dude, they're just flexing the loading times right now, dude. Is this Clank's adventure? Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Who? It's Girl Ratchet! Scratch it! I didn't see no Insomniac logo, El Papa. I'm curious who made that. That does look good, though. Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative no director way. at Insomniac Games. No way! The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. They made all these brand games! brand new, full-length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up how for the they, PlayStation 4. How do they do They're it? doing things we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly. How or do they do put it? put ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all-new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Dude, heck yeah, man. I actually kind of want to play this. I, I, mean, I don't know how they did it, dude. Did you see that? That's crazy. And they're showing us gameplay. 
Spider-Man came out October, September 2018. And now we're getting Spider-Man 2, holiday of this year. And then we're getting Insomniac, now we're getting this. And Insomniac made it all. Sand shots from above. This is pre-alpha, by the way. A kraken, or at least a very large octopus. I will never get used to that. Hey, to break reality. Dude, this is insane. Take over the universe again. Yeah. I kind of wish he was doing a worse job. Yeah, this is pre-alpha gameplay, Sam. That's what I'm afraid of. All right, service. See you later, man. Bye, serpent. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's kind of like a platforming adventure game. I hope everything goes well for you, Serpent. Have a good attitude. Hang in there. Let me know if I need to get a plane ticket. Come be company for you. Dude, this is nutty. This looks so good. That's all of them. I can't believe Insomniac made that, dude. I, what do they have, 4,000 employees? Oh, God. Oh, that sucks to him. It happens. No, it's not normal, but they'll fix it, so I wouldn't worry about it. Square Enix. We Productions. In a world not her own, where resolve will be tested, truths will be questioned, and devotions will be doubted, she will rise. Uwu. Owo. Project We. Oh, yeah, that dragon looks pretty cool, though, to be honest. Another JRPJ uh, in fantasy, you know? Cool. I'm not into those types of games, but that did look. I mean, it looked cool. Just aren't, They just aren't for me. says on the wall up there, dude. Wow. Great. So all humans died, but cats get to live? Pass. This is like Acid's game. No people, just cats. Oh my god. Do you get to play as the cat? Wait. Wait. Oh my god, dude, look at this cat. Oh, is this based on like a graphic novel or something, El Papa? Let me at him, let me at him. Maybe it's a really Tattoo? good robot cat. Oh, the gameplay was leaked, okay.
It's a pretty cute cat, though. Stray. It looks cool. I, I, I didn't check that out. So far, besides Gran Turismo, there has been no games that I wouldn't be more interested in seeing more of. So, is it? Is it? Does anyone else? Did you hear the? Did you hear the uh, full of bees? By the way, um, does it still feel like 2021 is the future? By the way, instead of six months from now, like. This looks, it looks great though. Show it, show it, show it. Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not gonna be burdened like that. We're gonna be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock. And it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. It will let us tell stories, make worlds, create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios coming exclusively Ooh, for PlayStation 5. A new IP? A new IP, chat. Oh my god. House mark. Marky. I know, whatever. Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. The crash. The attack. My death. The crash. The attack. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow Groundhog stay on the planet. As if changing. This world is becoming part of me. Infecting my mind. My memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. If I saw that, I'm losing hope. All right. <laughs> My only choice is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. So is this like a, you just play until you die, and if you die, you start over type of game? The cycle. Before the cycle breaks me. The art looks great, yeah. I mean, it looks really cool. Interesting. I really wish I could type that. Okay, here's your chance, Acid. Go run and pee right now. Run! Yeah, Returnal's not a great name, but... No. The art design, the music looks sweet. You missed your chance, Acid. Hope you're back. Oh, here we go, babe. What is this? Wait. 
What? They got rid of the name? So what? Now it's a... Now it's a... Ooh! Cool! It's like a 3D isometric platformer? I'm into that. That's cool. That is kind of cool. Yeah, but they changed the name to Sackboy. Yeah, it's no longer a Little Big Planet. Well, I'm guessing because Sumo's making it, not... Uh... God, what's the name of the studio that made uh, Dreams and Little Big Planet? Something I don't know. This looks like Media a, Molecule. This looks like a cool game. Like, if we could play this together, yeah, yeah you this can. would be fun to play with you. He'll yell at me. Look at that sponge. Look at how cute I be. <laughs> Minecart? No. Not playing this game. That's cute. I want to play that. Man, they're just... Each one of these is first party, too. First or second yeah. party games. Trust me, they'll be yelling, Cookie. Wait. Okay, never mind. I thought they were going to do another crash. What am I looking at here? Is this like a demo derby? Yeah, that's what it is. It's like demo derby. Welcome back, J Bar. Ah, I said, oh, good, I compete now. Yeah, it's a little twisted metal ish, yeah. Twisted metal was more open world, wasn't it? It also was not this pretty, like, colorful. This is an extension to Rocket League? No. This is first party. Destruction All Stars. Okay, that looks fun. Looks like a fun little game. A game like that, though, to be honest, would be better on multiple platforms with crossplay. Change your mind. Yeah, definitely, Cookie. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. Hi, Swim. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. Sony with all stars it's a story is like full Nintendo of and Brothers, and charm dude. That has themes in personal growth That's their thing. and redemption. So please enjoy. Sony has all stars, Nintendo has brothers, Xbox has no gamers. It's it's perfect. Oh my god, look at this cute little game. I'm proud of you, Acid. Oh my god, look at him. They're adorable. Babe, do you see them? They're so I cute. I know you are kind. They're not going to ruthlessly slaughter them, are they? You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. <laughs> Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. Cannot hide your weakness from me. Hey, Mr. Tree Man. 
Please don't hurt the cute, squishy people. You have no power here. Kena. Wow, this looks great for a small little indie game. Look at them all. I know, they're so cute. A flip. Yeah, you're kind of right. It is Pikmin-esque, you're right. You get, it looks like you get a little bit more control, though. Pikmin was literally just throwing things. Now when you, like, cleanse the land and then the floops come out. I love it. So, yeah, that, that looks cool. I like that. I like call it the floop game. I mean, it's indie. Like, Sony owns the studio, but it's not a triple-A title, so it's not really indie, but... You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? Anchovies. Mm. Bold choice. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. Be stars the game. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. I'm sorry, J Bar. I don't know why they hate my stream. Idea, babe. I don't. Even, I didn't even watch that, to be honest with you. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. to live up to or anything. I'm sure it'll be fine. You are no longer a slave, Abe. They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. I've That's never a played. lot for poor Abe. Never, I've never played an odd world before. A platformer. I kind of talked about this when Ori was out. Like, I just all platformers are starting to feel the same to me. 
我々の考える東京のビジュアルを実現できました今までに見たことのない東京の魅力を見て聞いて感じることができますこれからお見せするのはゴーソワイヤ東京の世界初のゲームプレイ動画です、oh, yeah, really、スーパーナチュラルでミステリアスな東京そこに潜む脅威と美しさを感じ取っていただけると思いますぜひお楽しみください Here we go This is gonna be good This is gonna be good This is gonna be good You see things others can't Your threats, others don't. Probably needs to go to a hospital. Then, you know. Yeah, especially if that's happening. Yeah. Fight when others won't. Shut up, Zee Swigbot! It's up to you to save Tokyo. He's just gonna yell at the b a r It's not gonna do anything. This is spoopier than I remember. No, it's supposed to be scary. It's, I remember saying this is like control, but scary. And hopefully good. I must have tuned you out. It's also been a year since we've seen anything about it. It's also first person. I didn't expect it to be first person. This actually looks kind of trippy, dude. Ghost Wire. Yeah, because we saw that at Bethesda's conference. Or whatever. Some mighty fine glue one day. Super Brothers. Predatory. What, acid? Take any judgment from you, okay? So, is this like a like a live in space city builder? That'd be sweet. No Man's Sky 2. The Jet, The Far Shore. Now、for a game that's coming out in like three months, I know nothing about it.、Uh, they need to tell us a little bit about it, you know what I mean? Like, you, you gotta tell us about your games, dudes. That one. <laughs> We've had so much gameplay today, and then they come out and they just play a bunch of ominous tones like they're Hans Zimmer and expect us to pump out our wallets.
a long stretch, no limousine. If you talk talking winners, gotta intervene. I'm the biggest one of those you ever seen. I'ma need a crown. I'm the only one that ever held it down. Let the tip top people flip flop every day. Not I top five. I'm a big shot. I'm the one they wanna take the big shots. Big balls, big rings, big rocks, big bag, big moves, big cars, big man, big plan. Get lost in this wall. Look at me now. Count me down. Looks like any hack and slasher I've ever seen, you know? Bro, El Papa, I believe in this world of marketing, if we don't like the music, the game probably isn't made for us. I think we're too old. We're not the target audience anymore. Lots, Cameron. Yeah, you've missed a lot, yeah. Well, technically, we still got an hour and 20 minutes left, so. Everything. You haven't missed anything huge except Spider-Man 2, starring Miles Morales. And a really good-looking Ratchet and Clank. And a really good-looking Ratchet and Clank. Good, good, good one, yeah. This looks like that one game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. People who know what game I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. Is he going to find Matthew McConaughey in there? Murph! Murph! All right, Cookie, good night. It's 5 a.m., by the way. Well, at this point, just stay up. enough to see more. They showed us gameplay. It's better than that one game about space. Oh boy. Here we go. Hitman 3. Menace, here we are. It was always going to end like this. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. Wrap your lips around this. Abrak here from Iron Tractive. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract How in his intimate. entire career. Don't touch me. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. Okay. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. Did Cameron dethrone me as bit? He did, yeah. He mega dethroned Cameron! Me. I was slowly climbing with my bits. He's the king, babe. He's the big boss. Dude, this is gonna be so sick! 
I can't wait! Not gameplay though, by the way. Those, that, those games are so much fun. Oh my god. Wait, what? Are they going to show us the menu? Yeah. It worked. Oh no, not these guys. What were these? What were this thing called for PS4? I don't even remember, but they like lived in your controller and you could like shake them. Playroom, that's what it was. It's playroom. Well, there's what Japan Studio was working on instead of Bloodborne 2. Heck yeah, Cookie, I want that! That's sweet! Nice! We all got- I don't have that! Twitch is actively working against me, bro. Yo, Papa, I'm important, all right? I'm here every day! Wallowing in obscurity! What's he doing to Mr. Snuffleupagus? This is gonna be another game I don't like because they hunt cute things. I mean, they are kind of cute. No, J-Bar, definitely not. Bye, Cookie! Minions? Were those just minions? He's shooting that nice bear! Schmeet! That bear was aggressive, and I was not trying to kill him. Just boop his snoot. Did that man just drop a log? Combat actually looks kind of cool. Aww, he's cute. Okay, those guys can die. El Papa, these are all lies and fabrications, okay? So while the man's pooping inside, he's having fights against giant cats. Okay. I just play Animal Crossing, but... What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans All Pelicans. right, I'm going to go Peter in go. NBA 2K. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. Sports. I ain't trying to break you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. Sweat.
exactly like every other 2K I've ever seen. Yeah, I, uh, I went to the bathroom and didn't see a frame of that video, but I feel like I still watched the whole thing. Now here we go. Trees. Strubbles. Strawberry. You are the Strawberry! I did not expect this. Amazing, aren't they? Half bug, half snack. A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful this is like cookies. It's tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snakes. Oh no. Do you guys remember that Futurama episode? Where they're like eating those poppers and it turns out they're the babies of that alien race from Omicron Percy I-8. That's immediately what I think of. Poplars, thank you, El Papa. Poplars, yep. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bicycles. Liz! I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, again? I tried to pick it up with my weenie hands. What, did they hire Cameron to write this game? <laughs> yep, this is Cameron's game right here. Coming to coming to twitch.tv slash the high hope show in December of 2020. Enjoy it. It sure was. <laughs> I can just imagine Cameron playing that. Oh, he's gonna have a great time. Playing it once. Hi everyone, thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near Wait, and it's only an hour? To me. So it must only be an hour. Okay. Also, uh, Cameron, <laughs> yesterday me and Seth were looking at my PS4 and I had about 20 invites um, from, from BAM's account and I was like, Grayson must have been uh, really, really wanting to play with me yesterday because it was just like, you have an invite, you have yeah, an invite. Yeah, he wanted to play Rocket League. Rocket, Rocket League. Rocket League with me, yeah. <laughs> yes, Fates. I think we all got it. I'm sorry it took you so long. Because she returns and eternally, it's returnal, yeah. What am I looking at? Is this Bloodborne 2? Oh, it's Demon Souls Remastered? Okay. Great, another game for me to be bad at. Can't wait! It actually looks great. It looks really good. I thought people didn't like Demon Souls as much. I think it's a acquired taste. I think okay. it's old. I'm sure this will be good. Is that supposed to be proper or pooper, El Papa? It's proper, babe. It left out the R. It could be pooper. Blue Point. They do good. Uh, they do good remasters. So. This is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. 
This is our unique vision, what Arkane is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay, this the year of, a like, surreal stuck in player a time. driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. Oh, gotcha, El Papa. Hello, Black Reeds. Cold, my predecessor, has been pronounced guilty of treason. He is to be shot on sight and fourth in perpetuity. It's not how you load a gun. Yeah. That is how I drink whiskey, though. Uh, she is not making this easy. You gonna tell him with your tattoo, okay? She gets another tattoo that just says Demon Souls has been remastered. So is this Prey meets the Outer Worlds? It's cold! Bioshock Dishonored, yeah, that's it, yeah. Super hot. Super hot. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to yeah, escape. Yeah, like what if you're on stream and he comes in and he's like, show me down. that tattoo. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. It does look cool, though. It, 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 I don't know. The graphics look current gen, if that makes sense. I don't know. It looks cool, though. I like the effects. Every loop, I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets. You know what it looks like? All gotta die before midnight. Bethesda. That's what it looks like. There's just one little snag. She won't tell, Cameron. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. <laughs> she may kill me a million times, but eventually... Jaybor, how dare you? I will break this fucking loop. It does look kind of cool. The gameplay looks crazy. watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. <laughs> Bethesda's marketing department, very good though. You gotta give them that. Yeah, it looks cool. It does look cool. It looks fun. And sometimes that's all you need in a video game, is it for it to just be, you know, just fun, you know? The story comes to a close. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father. The boy was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No, no! Friendly! 
Wait. Who are you? Who sent you? Hold on. They're coming. Who is? Yeah, that's what I thought, Monique. He's using a Destiny shotgun. Are we supposed to know what this is? Like, they said his story comes to a close. Like, we're supposed to know who his is. Yeah, I know. Creepy goat. He's a werewolf. Okay. Just kind of threw that in there. Village. An M. Night Shyamalan. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Chris? Sorry, Ethan. Why? Okay, well, I guess I've got a goal to play through all of them. There we go. I actually thought Resident Evil 2, but the graphics didn't look Resident Evil enough. But, you know, then slap me and now no one will ever believe me so Chris looks awful well I mean there's wolves wolf zombies Maniche guy you're on you probably don't need to wear that I mean I know Corona is like ravaging New York but like this is a this is overkill a little bit this is Maniche going to work for the first time. <laughs> this is him going to get groceries. Maniche, don't <laughs> blow things up. Stop it. <laughs> Moon's a little close. That's going to cause some issues, I think. Got another cat. It's another Japanese game, isn't it? Maniche, don't touch that little girl. Tarnation. Nope, now. Why is he in a moon? full spacesuit and she's just walking around barefoot on the moon? I don't know if she's real. Freedom. Our freedom. Maniche, you, you shouldn't kidnap little girls and take them to space. Okay, that's a Capcom game. Explain yourself, Menace. <laughs> she kidnapped me. I have no idea what I just catched, okay? You got low rent Norman Fetus flying to space with a girl. That's what I got. Dude, they're like slowly revealing what the PS5 looks like, and it's driving me nuts. Okay, here we go. Another first first party game. Finally, some quality. A hunter must hunt. Nah, it ain't gonna be this one. It's coming though, chat. This is Uncharted 5. 
Actually, this is HDZ. The old ones perished yeah. a thousand years ago. I... Their great cities turned to graves. In their place came new life. I want to watch this. He the bad guy. Savala. Forbidden West. But whatever comes. So good. Give me a date. Give me a date so you can push it later. I didn't gotta do it. On behalf of the entire oh team at Gorilla, we're happy to No, that's to a share brand new game, Nick. Definitely. Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Elio's story as she moves west to her far future America to brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. So hyped. And it also, it looks like they're leaning into like the history and evolution too. And that's sweet. I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I, for one, can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about the players. As a developer, that's an amazing feeling. Welcome, Welcome to PlayStation 5. Finally, gonna show us. Dude, that's crazy looking, dude.
dude, it looks awesome. That looks pretty cool. That looks sweet. It looks like something I should fight in Half-Life 3. Looks good. It looks like a console, man. That's what I wanted. I'm not gonna stack stuff on it, though. Like, I literally use my Xbox to hold up my monitor. Like, it's going in the closet. That looks, that looks really slick. It looks great, dude. Mm -hmm. I also love a white console. But yeah, colors would be nice. Wait, there are two versions. Oh, there's one without a disk drive. Ooh. That's pretty slick, too. I mean, technically, the 360 was white, the Wii was white. I was gonna say, some of the Xbox X's were white, weren't they? Yeah. It was the first white PlayStation. I mean, that isn't we a special We hope you've edition. enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy yeah, the I'm unique not sure that benefits is included. of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. I think us. the more accurate statement is We're launching later you can this use year, this and remote we have for tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Hit him with that sizzle reel. No, J-Bar. No, there's still motion. It looks, it looks good, man. Oh, look at their new, new stuff. Play has no limits, Chad. Has no limits. I mean, it does. Wait till Modern Warfare 2 shows up and the limit is hard drive space because I guarantee it's going to exist. All right, I think that's it. I think, I think we done did it. I think so, too. Yeah. Stream's over. Yeah, they <laughs> just, it's literally, they just ended the stream. Um, so that was an hour and 15 minutes with very little lulls.
that was pretty. I thought it was really like good. They kept the pace nice. So big announcement. Spider-Man 2 with Miles Morales. Horizon Zero Dawn 2 going to the west coast of the United States from the Rocky Mountain areas, which is where the first game took place. Um, Ratchet and Clank, new Ratchet and Clank. Also, buy Insomniac. Resident Evil 8, I think, is one of the biggest ones. They had a mm-hmm. few new IPs in there they showed as well. I think those are probably the there biggest. There were some cool-looking smaller games, The too. biggest takeaways for me. Look, I mean, I thought the console looked slick, but, you know, J-Bar, you know, he watches me all day, so maybe he just doesn't know what handsome is. <laughs> you know, I mean, he looks at me and he goes, yeah, that's acceptable. And then he looks at the PS5 and goes, nah. But no Bloodborne. Demon Souls remaster, though. Demon Souls remaster, though. So Wait! That's pretty slick. What's up, ZFM? That's pretty cool. Um, what were you What were you looking for, Sam? What were you looking for? Day one, I think Spider Man's going to be their. I think that's going to be I their think launch so game too, because it yeah. said holiday, and isn't holiday when uh, yes. the console supposed yeah. to launch? Yeah, so I think I think Spider Man's going to be their big launch game. We are currently saving up to get ours. Yeah, so we'll we'll have to see, but that's probably that's probably their launch game. I bet I bet Demon Souls remastered. And I bet Spider-Man probably come out right around launch. What do you have to say, ZFM? Where'd my chat go? I see it. Yeah, but it oh, disappeared. But it's like, it like was weird. there, then it went away. Well, it's like coming back now. Quantic Dream? Well, Call of Duty, they've already said that it's going to be a live event in Season 4, the next Call of Duty. So I don't think I was ever expected that. But uh, Quantic Dream... I don't know. They're not really PlayStation centric anymore, man. Like they just released their stuff on PC. I think Sony's mad at them to be, to be on. Uh, it's yeah. probably like and a it's, tiny and bit it's going to be cheaper. Yeah, yeah. all digital will be cheaper for people who don't care about games. So, I mean, honestly, I'd consider it. I, I'd consider That's, it. We'll get. But we will get. Because I'm going to make him buy two at some point. He thinks we're just going to buy one, but like, it's not fair that he gets a PS5 and I. This don't. is my job. Yeah, I didn't say day one we're going to buy two, but I said eventually I'm going to get a PS5. So, like, we'll buy one with the CD drive and one without the CD drive. But, like, my CD drive and my PS4 doesn't work. Like, every time I want to play Overwatch, it's like, please insert the disc. And I'm like, it's inserted. And then it's like, please insert the disc. And then I have to restart my PlayStation. Look, Colin, the future's now, old man. Okay, some people don't care about discs. Like, it's 1987 anymore, all right? The collector's editions, I get it, it's cool, you know, but you don't need a disc. You can just download it, you know? Just download it. Although it's interesting to me that it's going to be digital, a digital edition, because they've already said that the SSD is going to be, like, at 700 gigs or something. So that's, like, one Call of Duty, you know? Like, but, yeah. Yeah, they need the disc. I mean, it has discs, yeah. I mean, they have one that's a disc, they have one that doesn't. I think people, and the one with discs is going to be more expensive. Yeah, like I mean, and, and I think some systems have shown you don't need discs. Like I, my the Switch, for example, like I, I everything's digital on that, you know. But yeah, I think it'll be four ninety nine and three ninety nine. That'll be my guess. Four ninety nine for the disc version, three ninety nine for the non disc version. There'll also be a Spider Man bundle for five fifty that happens at Black Friday. All right, write it down. I still expect Bloodborne two at some point. I think it's going to happen, chat. I don't know who's going to make the announcement or when, but they're going to say Bloodborne for the PC, Bloodborne 2 for the PS5. It's going to happen. Was it a present Resident Evil 8? I am i don't think Menace was either, but we're excited to see more. I'm surprised they announced it, but... Vaccine, <laughs> yes. Also, Jared is providing a PS5 that includes a vaccine for coronavirus. So. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs>